Welcome to StoryFlix. In this video, we will explain Bride for Rent. This movie tells the story of a rich man named Rocco Espiritu who lost all his money in a poker game. Because of that, Rocco had to make more money if he didn't want to lose his valuable clients, which he needed to beat his father's TV commercial production company. Meanwhile, Della Cruz is a simple woman who desperately needs money to pay her rent, or she and her family are threatened with being homeless because they no longer have a place to live. The only way for Rocco to get enough money from his trust fund is to fulfill the conditions set by his grandmother, and that is to get married. Rocco finally met Della who agreed to act as his pseudo-wife in exchange for a talent fee. Will Rocco and Della's marriage go smoothly and they finally get what they want? Or do things go wrong and they fall in love with each other? Let's find out in Bride for Rent. Bride for Rent begins by showing a woman named Della Cruz who is in her room and hears a knock on the door. It turned out that the man who knocked on the door was none other than the house owner who wanted to collect the rent fee. Della and her family have not paid the rent for the house for six months. The man who owned the house then threatened to kick Della and her family out of the house if they didn't pay off the house rent fee immediately. Meanwhile elsewhere, a wealthy man named Rocco Espiritu appears to have just spent time with two women and is on a phone call with his grandmother, Lala. After that, Rocco met his uncle who told him that he was having trouble convincing his business partners to work with Rocco. But Rocco told his uncle that he would do his best on the project and would not disappoint his uncle. Having managed to convince his uncle and get a project that he predicted could bring in quite a lot of money, Rocco then celebrated it by throwing a small party at a nightclub. Not long after, Rocco's girlfriend, Gretchen, came to the party and then slapped him after finding out that Rocco had an affair. The next morning, Rocco wakes up from his sleep after getting a phone call from a woman who says that Rocco owes her nearly three billion. Suddenly Rocco was surprised to hear the amount of debt that was quite fantastic. However, Rocco immediately remembered that he had bet all his money on the poker game last night. Rocco then told the woman that he would soon pay off the debt because it was his 25th birthday and he felt very confident that he would get an inheritance from his grandmother. Rocco then went to see a man who is Lala's lawyer to ask for the inheritance of the money. However, the lawyer told Rocco that Lala had changed the will in which the grandmother had added a new condition, namely that Rocco must be married to a woman when he was 25 years old. After that the money he inherited would be given to him. Hearing this, Rocco immediately felt annoyed and immediately called his grandmother. But Lala argued that the purpose of changing her will was for Rocco's good to become a more mature and responsible man. To get his trust fund from his grandmother, Rocco must immediately find a woman who is willing to marry him as soon as possible. He then meets Gretchen and proposes to her, but Gretchen flatly refuses Rocco's offer because she already feels hurt. Rocco then went to all his ex-girlfriends, asking them to be his wives, but none of them matched the criteria of an ideal Stop wife as Lala wanted. One of Rocco's best friends, a man named Antonio, later said that Rocco was a bad guy because neither of his former girlfriends wanted to reconnect with him. Another friend of Rocco's, a man named Javier, suggests that Rocco hold an audition to find a pseudo-wife who is willing to marry him but is not romantically involved with him. On the other hand, Della is taking part in various auditions to become an advertisement star and an actress. However, Della never passed the audition and got a job, even though she had to pay off her house rent as soon as possible. Della was then informed that Rocco Espirito was opening auditions. Hearing the name Rocco, Della seemed excited because Rocco was one of her favorite celebrities. She rushed to the audition venue, and when she finally got to meet Rocco in person, she seemed fascinated by Rocco's good looks, which was the man of her dreams. Meanwhile, Rocco and his friends were seen interviewing several women who were candidates for his pseudo-wife, but Rocco didn't feel compatible with any of them. Next. When it was Della's turn to be interviewed, she was chatting with someone, so she didn't hear when the committee said her name. Della only realized it when the audition room door suddenly closed. From behind the door, Della heard Rocco and his friends talking about the purpose of the audition. When Rocco opened the audition room door and was about to leave, Della fell into Rocco's arms. 
Della was then asked to explain her strengths and weaknesses to Rocco and his friends. Unexpectedly, Rocco seemed interested in Della's indifferent and outspoken attitude and decided to hire her as his pseudo-wife. After that, Rocco takes Della to meet his grandmother, Lala, where Rocco later tells Lala that he and Della have secretly married. Meeting Lala, who is a senior actress, made Della scream hysterically and was not shy about expressing her admiration for the actress. Hearing that Rocco and Della were married, Lala asked them to have a lively wedding and invited many people so that everyone would know the happy news. After meeting with Lala, Rocco, and Della seemed to be fighting in the car because Rocco forced Della to get married for real, even though their plan was only to inform Lala about marriage to get inheritance money, not actually getting married. Della told Rocco that she wasn't ready to get married at all, and Rocco said the same thing, adding that he was forced to do the marriage just for the sake of inheritance money. Rocco then asked how much money Della needed to marry him. Hearing that question, Della suddenly felt very irritated because Rocco trampled on her pride and thought of her like a cheap woman who only cared about money. Della decides to terminate their contract, take her fee as a temporary rental girlfriend, and then rushes home. Della then returned to her house, where all her family members were waiting, because that day was the deadline given by the owner of the house to pay off their rent fee. At the same time, Lala secretly follows Della to her house and finally finds out that Rocco and Della are not really married. Della immediately apologized to Lala and told her that she had to agree to follow Rocco's plan because she also needed a lot of money to pay her rent fee. Lala seems to understand Della's reasoning and asks her to stay married to her grandson because she wants to teach Rocco how he should respect all the things he has and respect other people. Lala then offers a larger amount of money than previously offered by Rocco. After careful consideration, Della finally accepted Lala's offer to marry Rocco. Long story short, Rocco and Della finally got married and lived in Hong Kong for a while. Their domestic life is filled with debates and fights because Della refuses to sleep in the same room with Rocco and puts a condition that Rocco cannot fall in love with her and she also does not allow Rocco to be close with other women while they are still married. Rocco is even more annoyed when Della mentions that she is a condition for Rocco to get his inheritance money, so she asks Rocco to be nice to her. One day, before seeing his friends and Lala's lawyer, Rocco took the time to prank Della by scribbling on her face, responding to Della's actions that often told him to sleep on the living room sofa. Not long after, Lala's lawyer told Rocco that he would receive an inheritance of more than 45 billion. However, the money will be paid in installments every week, as much as $2 billion. On the other hand, Della, who had just woken up, got a call from her father asking how she was doing while living in Hong Kong. Della said that she was fine and feeling happy. Her father seemed so relieved and happy to hear that. Her father then thanked her because they still had a place to live and not become homeless. The family's economy gradually got better after Della got a job. Her father then asked for Della's address in Hong Kong so that their family could come to visit there at any time. But Della refuses to give it because she doesn't want her family to know that she is married based on money and wealth. After hanging up the phone, Della then realized that Rocco had teased her by scribbling on her face. Della, who felt very irritated, then complained about Rocco's childish behavior to Lala. But Rocco reasoned that it was just a joke and apologized to Della. After that, Della expressed her desire to move back to Manila to help with Rocco's work, for which she received full support from Lala. Upon returning to Manila, Lala gave Rocco and Della a house. Lala then advised Rocco always to take care of his wife because Della is a good woman and very suitable to be his wife. Hearing advice from his grandmother, Rocco just said yes. Rocco seemed so annoyed that Della decided to return to Manila. But Della reminds him again that she is the only reason Rocco can get inheritance money from his grandmother. Even though they had returned to Manila according to Della's wish, they did not get along and still kept fighting over trivial matters. Della doesn't even hesitate to ask Rocco to do household chores such as cooking and cleaning, even though in his entire life, Rocco has never done this because he is used to living like a king whose all necessities of life have been met. One day in Rocco's office, Della realizes that Rocco is facing financial problems when Antonio asks about a check that has not been cashed. Antonio asked Rocco to contact his uncle, but Rocco refused and instead asked Antonio to be patient. 
Della then got a call that her little brother was being treated at the hospital due to an accident and her father really needed money to pay for medical expenses. Hearing this, Della and Rocco rushed to visit Della's brother at the hospital accompanied by Javier, where Rocco then paid for all of Della's brother's medical expenses. Della and her family are also very grateful for Rocco's kindness and concern. After that, Rocco received word that Antonio had secretly visited Rocco's uncle to ask about the project, which infuriated Rocco because Antonio acted without asking for his approval first. Rocco was even more irritated when Javier defended Antonio by saying that Antonio was acting this way solely to save their company. When Rocco was about to leave, he got into an argument with Della because Della asked about his father, which Rocco didn't want to discuss with anyone, especially Della whom he considered only a pseudo-wife. Rocco accidentally uttered harsh words that really hurt Della's feelings. Della immediately told the incident to Lala, who then told Della about Rocco's past who hated his father so much because his father preferred to live with his new wife and decided to leave Rocco who was still very young at that time. After learning about Rocco's past, Della becomes sympathetic and feels guilty. Lala then apologized to Della for indirectly involving her in the feud between Rocco and his father. Lala added that Della could end their agreement now, and she would still pay in full according to the agreement they had agreed to. They both thought that they should tell Rocco about the deal as soon as possible, even though it might hurt Rocco even more. On the other hand, Rocco, who feels guilty after hurling harsh words at Della, meets an elderly couple who advises Rocco about marriage. Rocco then met Della at Lala's house, where he apologized to Della for being rude. When Lala was about to tell about the agreement between herself and Della, Della then stopped her because she was not ready to face everything if Rocco knew the truth. Rocco and Della then went home, where they then had a heart-to-heart -heart conversation. Since then, the relationship between Rocco and Della has grown closer. Especially after Della often helps Rocco work in the office. Rocco then apologized to Antonio and Javier for his outrageous behavior, and the three of them became friends again. Rocco and Della's household life became more harmonious, especially after Rocco often spent time with Della's family. The two of them looked so happy, like a real married couple. One day, Della meets Lala and tells her that she really loves Rocco and intends to reveal the deal they made to Rocco. Della thinks that if they continue the marriage without revealing the truth, both Rocco and herself will feel hurt, likewise if they told Rocco the truth. Della would also be heartbroken because it was likely that Rocco would hate her for the rest of her life. One night, Rocco throws a surprise party and invites his entire family, including his father. He then introduced Della to his father. In front of his entire family, Rocco then revealed that he actually hired Della to be his wife so that he could inherit from his grandmother. But now he realizes that he is really in love with Della and wants to fix things and start over from scratch. When Rocco was about to propose to Della in earnest, Della then revealed the deal he had made with Lala. Della then apologized to Rocco and Lala, who told her that all of that was her plan and that she was the one who forced Della to do the deal. Della then expresses her love for Rocco, but Rocco, who is already angry and disappointed, then rushes away from there. Della returned home and told her father everything about it. Her father then advised her that their family was indeed poor but still had self-respect. The next day, Della and her father meet Lala and return the remaining money that Lala gave to Della so that Della is willing to follow her plan to marry Rocco. That night, Lala tries to convince Rocco to forgive Della and he seems to have melted and wants to forgive Della. Long story short, Della, who is now an actress, will again take part in an audition where she is asked to bring all her family members to the audition. When she got there, it turned out that the audition was held by Rocco who planned to propose Della. Because Della and Rocco really loved each other, Della finally accepted Rocco's proposal. Della and Rocco finally got back into a real marriage and lived happily ever after. The moral we can learn from this film is never to play with marriage because marriage is something very sacred for two human beings who are bound in it. Love is not the only factor that can make a marriage last forever. However, marriage will feel empty without a soul and it doesn't take long to destroy it without love.